Hey there, and welcome to this OneNote student guide for Windows 10. In this OneNote, you're going to learn about all the cool features that OneNote has to offer you when learning. Your OneNote class mode is basically like a digital version of your physical books. It's for your whole class to store text. We can put images, handwritten notes if we have a stylus. We can put documents in or attachments like um, like videos and things like images and Word documents. We can also put in voice recordings as well in OneNote and so much more. What you're currently looking at now on this screen is the welcome page and your class notebook will have one as well. Your teacher might choose to personalize this page a little bit by putting in maybe what you're learning about this year or term or in the semester. They may also put some pictures to make it a little bit more personalized like what we've done here. Your OneNote is basically organized into three parts. The first one is the collaboration space. Now the collaboration space, you'll see it appear over here on the left-hand side of your class notebook. That space is kind of for everyone in your class to share, organize, and work together. You all have permission to edit pages, to look at each other's work and contribute in that space. The second one here, the content library. And we even have a little practice content library here in this notebook. Now the content library, it's like your teacher's space, but you can see into it. The only thing is it's read only, which means that you can't edit anything or delete anything. You can, however, take copies of stuff. And we'll teach you that when you enter into the content library section of this notebook. The third space is the student notebook space, and that is your private space. It's shared between just you and your teacher, and no other student can see it. Teachers can access every student in the class, while you can only see your own. There is a little practice one in here that we'll go through in this notebook. To use this notebook, basically, you click down first on the content library, we're navigating to the top version here where you will find a video. We watch the video and follow the instructions for each one. Each drop down section here, which is called a section group. So navigation bar here focuses on all of the tools that we find along the top here in the navigation bar. And each one is accompanied by a small activity to get you used to using your OneNote. There's also an activity here, a very important one, about how we manage deleting notes and getting them back when using OneNote. I hope you enjoy using this notebook and that you have lots of fun using Class Notebook in your class.